Hello and welcome to Picture Astrology. In this video, we will cover in a slightly elaborate fashion about the behavior of Mercury in the exalted sign of Virgo. So, apart from normal properties and traits which this position implies, we will also see how to read this position in your chart because when in general we talk about a planetary position in a sign, we talk about what is known in Sanskrit as sutras or primary implications but those things intermingle with 10 other things in your chart and creates a unique experience for yourself. So like a planet Mercury in Virgo which although is exalted can create pleasant as well as unpleasant experiences during its Dasha period. So interpretation of Dasha period will also be covered in this with those examples so that the discussion we do here would become more meaningful to you when you try to see it in your own chart. And the motivation to do this elaborate video with which you know covers all these points with example has come because I have been listening to a lot of feedback from people through the emails or even in, uh, in, in comments say for example in Mercury in Leo sign chart uh, I did mention something like Mercury in Leo when uh, uh, associated strongly with a Mars gives interest in architect you know person could be in some way either attracted or educated in the field of architecture now immediately I see at least three four comments which corroborates that but at the same time there were a couple of emails which not really showed this trait. So I thought it will be more pertinent if we can also see how these sutras which we discuss in these kind of videos, smaller videos, we also try to see how those should be applied in your chart to read the implications holistically both from the areas which a particular placement can affect in your chart as well as how the dasha period will go on because interpretation of uh, of any dasha period is slightly different than just seeing the implications of a you know planet say mercury in virgo and we will see what's the differences as we move forward in this video and before we jump into mercury in virgo a very quick note of gratitude to everyone who has considered to buy my book and if you have bought the book and haven't yet received the link for one hour special video which I have created for you guys then please send us your email id and the email id with which you log in into youtube so please either put it in comments or ideally send it to my email id thank you so much now let's talk about mercury in virgo See Virgo, the 30 degree areas of Virgo is a very versatile and at the same time very welcoming area for Mercury. And I say versatile because in this say 30 degree of Virgo sign, the first 15 degree, 0 to 15 degree is considered to be the exalted position of Mercury. The next 5 degrees which is between 15 to 20 degree is considered as the Mool Trikona area of planet Mercury and the last 10 degree is considered as the own sign area and these three different classifications are basically three different levels of dignity which a planet can get and interestingly enough Mercury is the only planet which finds its exaltation area Mool Trikon area as well as own sign area in the same sign of Virgo and in general loosely Mercury in Virgo the entire uh, entire 30 degrees referred as the exaltation point of, uh, of Mercury but the basic point is the entire 30 degree is quite welcoming yet there are slight degrees of variation in the actual dignity of planet Mercury in this sign. Now planet Mercury in human system represents your intellect, it represents your logical mind, it is not your emotional mind. Emotions 
are your fourth house and moon how you think logically how what is your ability to do addition or subtraction you know one plus one one plus two what is that ability that intellectual ability is the planet mercury it is the ability to do sum or addition or subtraction it is the ability to see the benefits and the loss it is the ability to look at a balance sheet and see how much profit you are going to make or you are going to make some losses it is how your logical mind thinks you know it is how you speak how you communicate mercury has a lot to deal with arts your mental interest because any artistic pursuit apart from being emotionally involved requires mental involvement as well and therefore mercury plays a very vital role in any profession you take including arts it is the ability or it gives you the ability to flirt how you can attract people through your voice or more importantly through your communication skills how witty you are that is your mercury on the body mercury is the skin the most outermost layer of your human body and now the sign of virgo is also representative of constraints or you can say uh, ability to make use of limited resources if you see the symbol of virgo in traditional astrology symbol of virgo is a boat on top of a deep ocean and on this boat a young girl is sitting alone and this young girl has some grains and a lantern or a little bit of fire in her hands so now if you imagine this situation just imagine this situation you are pretty much in the middle of nowhere on top of a deep vast ocean alone with little bit of grains and little bit of heat or lantern or fire so virgo is a sign the kind of limitations or the kind of constraints virgo shows no other sign can but what this sign does is it also gives you the ability to work through smartly over those limited resources so mercury in virgo definitely provide you a wonderful eye for detail every single thing matters to you however minute a nuance could be that cannot skip your eyes and thus this position is great for anyone who is interested in some or the other kind of knowledge now this knowledge may not necessarily be just related to a degree or a you know college degree or a school degree it can very well be related to that but just the general understanding of life the nuances of everything can be learned by mercury in virgo much easily than any other sign placement now it does give very good education to mercury in virgo is associated with very good education but as i said how it works in your chart depends upon variety of other factors and i have actually picked a very interesting chart in which i will show you that even after having mercury in virgo in a strong position what kind of issues can occur in formal education it as i said it will give you a good mental conditioning you will be able to soak in a lot of knowledge but there are possibilities depending upon your chart that there may be some difficulties in getting formal education getting a college degree although as i said this position is very conducive for it yet there could be some issues and i will show you that with an example later on now we saw a little bit earlier that mental conditioning your 
स्टेट ऑफ माइंड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आर्टिस्टिक परस्यूट एंड मर्क्यूरी इन वर्गो डज सपोर्ट वेरियस काइंड ऑफ मल्टीट्यूड ऑफ आर्टिस्टिक परस्यूट हाउर योर मेंटल एबिलिटीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रोफेशन यू डू रियली एंड देर फोर इन जनरल मर्क्यूरी वर्गो इज सुटेबल फॉर वेराइटीज ऑफ आर्टिस्टिक परस्यूट यू नो दे कैन बी गुड राइटर्स दे कुड बी समन वु राइट वेरी गुड पोएट्री दे कुड बी वेरी वेरी इलोक्यूंट स्पीकर स्पीकर यू नो हू कैन टच ऑन एवरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ और एवरी नुआंस ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट एंड एक्सपाउंड इट इन मल्टीपल डिफरेंट वेज दे कुड बी ग्रेट इन वेरियस काइंड ऑफ फाइन आर्ट्स स्पेशली इफ मर्क्यूरी आस्पेक्ट और अफेक्ट द थर्ड हाउस ऑफ द हॉरोस्कोप if they are in management you know they would be um, able to really micromanage an event event very well if say uh, other malefic planets like mars and saturn if these two planets are really really strong then they can easily be either great engineers or someone who can manage a factory much easily than others and when um, people with this kind of placement you know people with mercury in say virgo get into management kind of role or they get into leadership kind of role they provide knowledge leadership you know they are not going to impose themselves through their authority mercury with virgo gives them ability to lead by thorough knowledge and in today's knowledge economy many people who have reached up to leadership position do a uh, possess a strong mercury position and mercury in virgo could be one of them we will we will see further in one of the example about how strong mars and saturn along with mercury here plays out in deciding the profession of the person but overall mercury in virgo is a highly beneficial position for professional life now let's see how does mercury affects your looks and specially the skin because skin is primarily ascribed to mercury now look wise mercury is known as the youngest planet in vedic astrology this planet is responsible for what is known as a boyish charm or a young girlish charm so if you have mercury in virgo which is very strong mercury somehow associated with your ascendant now this is a very key point this placement of mercury in virgo virgo should be associated in some ways to ascendant it could be placed in ascendant aspecting ascendant or even even aspecting ascendant lord i'll probably show you an example of that too but when that happens the person gets a younger looking appearance they look younger than their actual age but now say with the same placement of mercury in virgo you have say slow moving planets saturn and jupiter aspecting your ascendant or first house then you will have a much more mature look because mature planets are aspecting your first house yet a strong mercury will somehow balance it as far as looks are concerned and secondly in any case it will give you a fine and sharp brain a logical mind to complement that mature look now skin wise mercury in virgo generally is considered to give a very nice skin to the person but here a very important thing to notice that mercury is one of the most impressionable planet you can easily impress this planet moon is supposed to be the most impressionable planet and the second most is mercury and you can see in human life also your emotions are something which are most easily affected by others and second thing which is easily affected by others is your logical mind your mind how you think these two things moon and mercury gathers impressions way more easily than any other planet now what this means is if or say even if mercury is placed in this sign of virgo which is a strong one but if there are aspects of 
malefic planets especially if this mercury is found with say rahu and at the same time mars remember these two together have to be afflicting mercury then skin rashes skin irritation that is easily possible now a very interesting thing about how mercury in virgo person behaves in social circle see first thing is the great amount of information on variety of subjects which a person with mercury in virgo has makes him eligible for good intellectual discussions on any topic so they can actually do very well and be a very good conversationalist in social gatherings and social circles now we also saw flirting is a area of mercury but mercury in the other sign ruled by mercury which is gemini is generally way more fond of short talk way more fond of jokes small jokes um gossiping talking about here and there you know mercury in virgo can also do that yet mercury in gemini are like jack of all trades they thrive in these kind of things whereas mercury in virgo likes to be more like an expert a deep level of expert in different matters and subjects so the flirting tendency is little less with mercury in virgo yet they could be very well respected in social circle and people could be very fond of talking to them but what happens is mercury in virgo just because they know a lot about some things or some subjects or some topic at times they can get easily irritated if the other side or other people with whom they are interacting does not show same level of ingenuity same level of sincerity or even at times if they do not show the same level of understanding so they really need to you know um control the urge of getting into any kind of arguments analysis paralysis and understand that not everyone is going to have the same attention to details the same in depth knowledge as a mercury virgo person can have and this is a very important social trait to look for or to correct in uh, mercury virgo person especially if this mercury is associated with moon because then these kind of behaviors can affect their emotions and when that happens other people might feel like they are argumented now again another thing this tendency develops more when mercury as i said obviously uh, is aspecting or associated with moon and the planet of fights mars has something to do with this combination then they need to be little bit careful about this however mars aspect on this strong mercury also gives them a very sharp intellect too and yet i mean however sharp your intellect is you should not use it for argument sake now another very important aspect of mercury is that uh, or virgo rather is that this sign is intimately connected with overall health and well being of a person see in general virgo represents our intestine our stomach or rather the part after the stomach and intestine are closely related with any kind of chronic disease or the beginning point of chronic disease um as you might know that generally health issues or diseases are classified as chronic or infectious so infectious diseases are the ones which you contact from outside cough and cold you know viral attacks on your body they are infections from outside and everything else is considered like a chronic disease which has origination within the body and it is said that most of these chronic disease before they show up in a big way has some way you know or the other seeds of origination in your intestine so keeping the intestines healthy is generally associated with 
overall health of the person and mercury in virgo as i said in the beginning that mercury is a very impressionable planet so when mercury is here in this virgo sign the aspects on this mercury can indicate a lot of things about the kind of health issues a person might face but overall this is actually a good placement mercury here as we discussed is exalted uh, mostly you know loosely we can say it's an exalted sign so it gives strength to the virgo sign which is the key indicator of a person's health but still keeping intestines healthy is important when you have mercury in virgo and the great news is presence of mercury here gives ability to recuperate very easily or very soon so even if you have any intestinal problem and mercury exalted present in the virgo sign if you take you know simple home remedies or just do simple yoga or simple exercises you will find that even if you have sane digestion you can um, recover and recuperate pretty soon now another thing is if you have mercury in virgo along with say sun also present here or sun present in the 6th house then the digestive capabilities are very quick this is a strange tendency but especially this combination you know say mercury in virgo sun present especially in 6th house gives a very quick fire digestive capabilities now these people's bowels they really move fast so overall a good indicator for health but digestive issues need to be looked for now let's talk about some of the example charts which will help you understand how to apply the principles we saw about mercury in the sign of virgo first of all in your chart how this thing can behave in your chart and secondly how the dasha of such a mercury is going to work because mercury dasha or let's say vimshottri dasha of mercury which is the most commonly used dasha system lasts for 17 long years so even though mercury is in the exaltation sign of virgo and as i said in the beginning the dasha effects are to be considered very differently in the dasha times mercury works with various other planets so even if there is an exalted uh, mercury in virgo that doesn't mean that all 17 years of this dasha period is going to be a dream ride and then there is going to be no problems at all because people simply um, or many times over simplify things saying oh okay now i am in exalted virgo uh, exalted mercury dasha and now my life will be just a dream ride we will see with specific examples about how you can yourself see the mercury dasha can pan out so this is the chart of one of the modern times luminaries in astrology the great kane rouser and people who don't know him as i said he is one of the modern time the modern times greats in vedic astrology he established a jyotish school uh, in new delhi called bharati vidyapeet which trains and teaches thousands of curious student in vedic astrology he is world renowned and uh, many of his predictions on mundane astrology and otherwise have proven to be highly accurate he has written umpteen number of books you just need to search k and rao on google and you will know a lot about him so first of all let's see how mercury and virgo played out in this chart now mercury in the 12th house here the ascendant is the 7th sign which is the sign of libra and mercury is placed in the sev- uh, 12th house and 12th house mercury is considered an okay okay position uh, and i should not use okay okay it is considered as a mixed bag it has some many you know great qualities and also some difficult ones but true to the mercury and virgo what we have seen he is amazingly learned person he apart from being you know one of the greatest astrologers is also 
worked in a very high position in government office he was a revenue department officer and there are various other factors which are responsible for that also so but we are not going to go into that we will mainly focus on mercury in the sign of virgo but you know amazingly learned amazing eye for details and in his communication style he is pretty direct to the point and succinct he doesn't beat you know around the bush even if you read his books you uh, listen to his talks he will come directly to the point and expound the principles of astrology without confusing you that's a great trait of mercury in the sign of virgo no confusion clarity and he can thread where explain the nuances of the placements which many other astrologers would find difficult to do now remember that when we start analyzing a placement in the chart then it is not just mercury in virgo when you talk about mercury in virgo mercury is anyways and always lord of the gemini sign as well now you should when you try to analyze your mercury you should see where your gemini sign is placed as well now in this case gemini sign is placed in the ninth house which is a very very auspicious house of higher learning education astrology religious uh, understanding various types of shastras etc and therefore because mercury is lord of ninth house and exalted the virtue of being the ninth house lord has given or made him extremely extremely knowledgeable in so many cases in any case in your chart if you want to see say mercury in virgo um and want to see the uh, understanding of multiple shastras then you should look at your 9th house in conjunction with it if you have strong mercury uh, you everybody will not have mercury as ninth lord of ninth house but even if mercury is not the lord of ninth but if it is in virgo and ninth house is well placed then you will have very very good knowledge very very good understanding of variety of subjects not just one and shri ken rao sir in vedic astrology you know he is just a great expert in various branches of vedic astrology gemini parashari and many other disciplines now see mercury is in the 12th house among other things 12th house is the house of your generosity how many things you just give it for free you can call it house of expense also now mercury is here in 12th house of mr ken rao sir he never pursued astrology for professional gain he never pursued it for monetary gains he always pursued it as part of giving away knowledge 12th house mercury knowledge not for earning money you know very very important aspect when you see mercury placed here now let's quickly come to see how the dasha of mercury went for him now there's so many things we can look into the 17 year period of mercury dasha in this chart yet i have chosen two very specific example to show both the good as well as not so good aspect of mercury dasha let's start with the first one mercury sun period which happened around 1993 in shri ken rao sir's chart and this was the time when he probably for the first time made multiple trips to us for astrology purposes he attended multiple conferences and you can see sun is the lord of 11th house which is the house of recognition house of gains house of expanding social circles it is present in the 12th house of foreign all kinds of foreign things and generally you know 12th house planets in the house of expenses if you read uh, classic books there would be many negative connotations but here because it is placed with a strong mercury which is also the lord of ninth house his name and fame attained a global recognition during this time so much so that there are many great scholars who term the vedic astrology in united states as an era which is they say pre ken rao era and after ken rao era 
1993 visits in his seminars of astrology were so impactful in terms of spreading Vedic astrology knowledge to the West. Now consider the time period of Mercury Jupiter which happened around 2000. Now Mercury as we have seen a great planet, Jupiter, you see Jupiter exalted in the 10th house. This should be a great period again, isn't it? But see, Mercury is in 12th house. 12th house is an adverse position from the ascendant or the first house. Now, ascendant is your body, human body. Jupiter exalted, very good position. But Jupiter is lord of 6th house, house of disease or health issues, health related problems. And Virgo sign as we have discussed earlier in this video that Virgo sign is intrinsically linked with overall health and well-being of the person. So Jupiter is exalted, Mercury, Jupiter are relatively friendly planets. So you know if, if you just consider astrologically the natural uh, significance of Mercury, Jupiter should give some very good results. Whereas the functional significance of Jupiter being Lord of 6th house, Mercury being placed in 12th house, they should give some bad results in terms of health. And that is exactly what happened. During this time, his health suffered a lot, so much so that he, during some brief period of time, uh, was bedridden for some time. There were some health issues which later on got resolved, but he did suffer from health issues. But during this time, see, 6th house lord is giving trouble for health. But 6th house is also house of legal matters. He won some of the very hard fought and prestigious legal matters related to Vedic astrology teachings in Indian universities at that time. So he attained great legal successes. But at the same time, health suffered. And the reason for this and this both is, see Mercury, exalted Mercury in 6th uh, sign has an aspect on the 6th house of legal affairs. Good for legal affairs, same situation, 12th from ascendant, aspecting 6th house of health issues, gave him health issues. So you see, this is how multiple significations have to be combined together to read your own chart and to understand how Mercury Dasha in your own chart will play out. Hope these two examples will give you some help. I'll take one more quick example to show how education and knowledge can have good and bad effects because of exalted Mercury now. Now let's move on to the second example which I have specifically chosen to see the effect of uh, Mercury exalted in formal education field. Now this is the chart of Henry Ford II who was the grandson of the great Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motors. So this chart is not the chart of the founder of Ford Motors who was Henry Ford first but his grandson Henry Ford II and he has uh, like every horoscope an amazingly educational uh, chart. So here you can see Mercury is exalted in the ninth house, Mercury placed in the sign of Virgo along with Venus and there are various other uh, placements in the chart as you can see. Now, since we wanted to talk specifically about formal education, in general when you, when you look at the sutras of Mercury uh, in the sign of Virgo, we always say that this is great for education, for knowledge, for learning etc. And I have previously in my video also said that how the formal education, how the degree, how the college or uh, you know school degree will be, that depends on various factors in the horoscope. But Mercury and Virgo, you can definitely say that the person has great eye for details. He would have knowledge about many things. He would be able to 
मैनेज थिंग्स वेरी वेल अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न नुआंस ऑफ मल्टीपल एरियाज वेरी वेल येट फॉर्मल एजुकेशन यू शुड सी सेपरेटली फ्रॉम द चार्ट नाउ नाइन्थ हाउस मेलकरी वी विल से यस ग्रेट पोजिशन फॉर एजुकेशन द पर्सन शुड गेट हायर डिग्रीज बट इन दिस चार्ट ऑफ मिस्टर हेनरी फोर द सेकेंड लेट्स फर्स्ट सी यू नो द अदर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ मर्करी इन नाइन्थ हाउस एग्जाल्टेड मर्करी इन नाइन्थ हाउस नाइन्थ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ यूर लीनियज योर फोर फादर्स यू नो बॉर्न इन ग्रेट फैमिली वंडरफुल फैमिली हिज ग्रैंड फादर वॉज यू नो फाउंडर ऑफ फोर्ड मोटर्स a very very innovative person who truly revolutionized the motor industry as we see today and obviously indebted to his relentless pursuit of you know uh, making the engine size small so that we can see the vehicles we are seeing right now so he really was a great pioneer and mercury venus you see great lineage you know wonderful wonderfully well placed and he himself turned out to be a great manager great leader of ford motors he led it through the turbulent times of world war 2 and uh, you know uh, uh, be, be uh, remain the the chief for a long period of time but let's see about education in 1940 he got into reputed yale university sorry he got into it a little earlier but in 1940 that was the time of venus and ketu dasha venus mahadasha fag end of venus mahadasha with the last antar of ketu going on and i think it was also the pratyantar of mercury at that time when the gentleman was asked to leave the yale university without completing his degree in fact it was on the charges some say of plagiarism or of cheating um, and he was literally expelled and he could not complete his uh, degree in that university now there are various reasons for that especially the venus mahadasha uh, generally when you have a uh, uh, debilitated venus in the ninth house so it it's, it it gives many great qualities but at least one point of time being 12th from the 10th house it does give a bad name a fall <clears throat> in the society it could be for various reasons and soon after this his sandasha started in the beginning part of the sandasha was little bit uh, troublesome here to work um, you know a manual labor job etc that was for a short period of time anyways that's not the topic of this discussion the main topic is even though there is exalted mercury in a great position as ninth house but certain other factors can cause breaks in the education now suppose now this happened during the venus dasha his mercury dasha actually uh, happened very very late in life now assume this placement of mercury and a uh, mercury mahadasha starting at the time of education what will then happen now will the person be able to complete his education during that time or not the answer to that is see yes because mercury is well placed in 9th house in exaltation sign but still what this will give is it will give some or the other sort of change in the either the primary subject the person chooses what happens is mercury with venus in the ninth from the formal education house it is sixth so person is uh, generally pretty versatile and they they might change their area of interest they might change the area of their specialty in in the education and that way there will be a little change or break or movement in education but if the mercury the show was running he would have been able to complete his degree and formal uh, course as well so you know this is how even though there is exalted mercury it behaves little bit differently in everybody's chart so we cannot say okay ma i have mercury exalted in 9th house i will definitely have great phd degree there are phd people you know great uh, great scholars phd's nobel laureates who have this mercury we exalted in 9th house but the timing of the horoscope the dasha has to be pertinent at those times and other sub other uh, placements have to also support it 
Now in this case, the strong Mars Saturn influence on the ascendant and Saturn also being the ascendant lord made him the chief of a automobile, a mechanical company. And I think I said in the in the video in the earlier times or in the beginning of the video when I was explaining uh, Mercury, you know, Mercury exalted will give a keen eye, knowledge of various things. But if these malefic planets like Mars, Saturn are aspecting or associated with ascendant, person could be employed in this kind of factory work and yet be able to manage and lead them very well. So this is how various aspects, various influences of the chart contribute towards the sutras of one uh, placement mercury and virgo so friends please uh, i'm really looking forward to your suggestions and advice about how you like this format of explaining one placement of a planet in a sign i think this gives a much wider way much uh, uh, much be, might be more helpful for you to see the holistic picture of how one placement can behave in your chart and not just say that okay mercury in venus uh, mercury exalted obviously great education not so great education and you know things like that so please do provide your feedback in comments or email me would love to hear from you and tailor my videos according to what you think is correct also please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon also please see the description for my books as you buy my book i you will also get some additional uh, videos which are created only for all the patrons of mine so thank you so much for all your support so far live a blissful life and hope to see you again soon bye bye